Hi, folks. This is Ada. Today, I'd like to talk to you about Elliptic Curve Integrated Encryption Scheme or ECs for short, which is a widely used public key encryption scheme that is based on the mathematics of elliptic curves. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. The first step in ECs is to generate the public and private keys for the recipient. This is done by selecting a random integer d, which serves as the private key, and computing the corresponding public key q equals d times g, where g is a fixed point on the elliptic curve. The recipient keeps their private key d secret, while sharing their public key q with others who wish to send them encrypted messages. To send an encrypted message to the recipient, the sender must first generate a one-time secret key that will be used to encrypt the message. To do this, the sender selects a random integer r and computes two elliptic curve points u and t. u equals r times g and t equals r times q. u is the sender's public key, which they will send to the recipient, while t is kept secret. With the secret t in hand, the sender can now use it to generate a key and encrypt the message using a symmetric encryption algorithm such as AES. X coordinate of the point T is then fed into a key derivation function to generate a 256 bit key using SHA 256. The first 128 bits of the hash are used as the encryption key, while the last 128 bits are used as the key for a message authentication code or shortly MAC. The logic of generating keys for symmetric key encryption algorithm and MAC from known point on elliptic curve is public. The recipient will perform same actions to generate keys. Just point T is not going to be shared and keep secret. The sender then feeds the encrypted message and key to HMAC SHA 256 algorithm to obtain the MAC. We feed the encrypted text to the MAC instead of the plain message to provide message integrity and authenticity. If we use the plain message instead, an attacker could potentially modify the message without the recipient knowing, since they would be able to compute a new MAC for the modified message. By feeding the encrypted text to the MAC, any modifications to the message would result in a different MAC value, which the recipient would detect and reject. Therefore, using the encrypted text for MAC provides an extra layer of security and ensures that the message has not been tampered with during transmission. Finally, the encrypted message and the MAC are then sent to the recipient, along with the sender's public key U. To decrypt the message, the recipient first computes T prime by multiplying their private key D with the sender's public key U. T prime equals D times U. T prime must be equal to T that sender used. The recipient can now use the shared secret T to generate the same keys for symmetric encryption and MAC that the sender used, and verify the received MAC. If the MAC verifies, the recipient can be sure that the encrypted message has not been tampered with during transmission. In summary, ECs is a public key encryption scheme that uses elliptic curves to enable secure computation of shared secrets, without revealing private keys. The scheme involves generating a public and private key for the recipient, generating a one-time secret key for each message, and using the shared secret derived from the recipient's private key and the sender's public key to encrypt and decrypt the message, along with a secure MAC to ensure message integrity. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time.